And welcome back guys to the next episode of my FIFA 20 Aston Villa career mode. And I want to start this episode off by thanking you guys for uh, basically everything. Watching the videos, commenting, subscribing, everything that you guys have been doing to help support the channel uh, makes it more worthwhile, more fun to do when you guys uh, interact with me and watch the videos and everything that you've been doing. So episode 54 today, uh, we start off against Newcastle of all people, uh, probably our most hated team to play against because uh, Mr. Joe Linton always gives us trouble no matter what. So here's our lineup today, the 4-3-3, no big changes here today. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty normal lineup for us, 4-3-3 uh, holding. So they go with the 5-4-1, uh, Yedlin, St. Maximin, uh, the superstar, and the dreaded Joe Linton <laughs> up top today. So let's get this one kicked off and let's try to grab these three points and move up this table, uh, which I'm worried that we won't be able to do. So here we are, 27 minutes in, just off target. Magnin, Magnin keeps that one out. Gets that, both hands on it, and knocks it out. Here comes the corner. And there it is, easily handled. The by the defender and we always have trouble coming out of the back and it hits us again Rudiger gets the pass intercepted gets to Hayden who taps it over to Joe Linton who knocks it in and makes it 1-0 of course it had to be Joe Linton uh, we just I don't know if it's or my center back's passing or just dumb uh, decisions on my part when I get, get the ball in the back. So we try to attack the last few minutes of this match. Uh, we just couldn't do it. We lose possession. And by the time we get it back, the final whistle blows, and that one's that. We lose 1 0 to Newcastle. So disappointing today because we need points like crazy obviously but even more so now so seven to seven on shots three to five on target and they win the possession battle so they kind of were the better team today and your player of the match is Hayden with an 8.6 and we go to William Doolittle for the post-match press conference uh, they ask about Harris I mean and our <laughs> we're finally defeated uh, okay have you, uh, you know, we're in eighth place. Are we really undefeated? Come on, people. Hopefully 21 is better. But with everything that's going on, I'm sure they haven't been uh, working on it as much. Uh, so I'm kind of worried that FIFA 21 will basically just be FIFA 20 again. Uh, I mean, it's not a terrible game, but career mode could be so much better, man. It's just... What it could be is, is the painful part. So our next match, we take on Roma in the Europa League. Uh, so House is leaving, OM offers 33 million for Sanchez. Uh, we need him now. He's a, he's a good guy, good player. Uh, when he comes, he's not much of a shooter, but uh, when he comes in, he can handle business. So Harris is now valued at 111 million. So I don't. Know. He's very good. Don't get me wrong, but maybe selling him wouldn't be a, a terrible idea. I don't know. We'll uh, think about it maybe and see what happens. So will we see more of Douglas Louise? Uh, it's a rotation, and you'll see who you see, and it depends on how we're playing, and of course fitness levels. And this will be a big Europa League showdown. All the guys will be ready to go. Uh, hopefully, we're not doing great in the Premier League. But if we could at least get through pretty far here in the Europa League. This is the round of 16, so that is pretty good. Uh, but we're supposed to be in a Champions League spot. So we're going to go with the 4-3-3 attacking today. 
Sanchez is going to get the start. Harris uh, in that center field role. And Newhouse and Suso Icardi Terrier up top. And then here's Roma's lineup. Uh, I'm not too familiar with any of these guys. Maybe you are. And you know who, uh, who I should be worrying about uh, more than the others. So if you do, comment below and let me know who I should be worried about on this Roma squad. And here we go. We kick off this first leg of the Europa League. Icardi gets it to Digne. He's out wide. Can he get it in the box and make something happen here? Nice pass. The hitter. And that one goes wide from Terrier. Triore comes in for Suso. Uh, and here we are in the attack again. Icardi shoots, scores, and, but no, he doesn't. He was offside. How terrible is that? That, that was our win right there. Harris on the attack. Can we make something happen here in the last couple of minutes? Loftus Cheek passes it. It's intercepted. And Roma going the other way. Please do not let them score here. And that's it. That's the final whistle. This one ends in a nil-nil draw, which uh, I'll take it. You know, we'll go into the next uh, leg fresh with nothing over our heads. So four to four shots, three to two on target, and 52-48 possession. They had 14 to one tackles on us, so that would be a big reason why they kept us out. And Digne with a 7.4 is your player of the match. Uh, so good job for Digne. And we'll head to this press conference and see what they ask us. Maybe they'll ask us about being undefeated. So they ask him about uh, Douglas Louise. I mean, he's not a game changer, so he didn't play, he didn't play. It's not, you know, the end of the world here. And we have a look. Let's see, transfer offer. We're going to reject that. We need all of our guys right now. Uh, more than ever. And our next match is from Vicarage Road against Watford. We got an offer from Fiorentina for Abram. We're going to reject that one as well. And here we go, Watford and Aston Villa. Hopefully, this is one we can grab three points from. If we can't go much longer with uh, draws and losing, obviously. Rob Holding in the back. Pete Boer cleverly in Chow and Isaac Success up top. And there's their bench. I want, that can't be Luis Suarez. Can it? I don't know. Probably not. So Alexander Arnold, Avon House, Emerson, the back Sanchez, the Fever, and Newhouse. Traore, Welbeck, and Terrier up top. Uh, of course, we had to adjust for uh, fitness reasons. And we're going to see what Lefevre uh, can do. I don't know. He might be a good one. So here we are 15 minutes in, struggling to get the ball out of the back. And House gives it up. Shoot, block, rebound, hate bowler. Knocks it in and makes it 1-0. What a uh, broken record of us not being able to get the ball out of the back. Seems like no players come to... Uh, help out ever we're just uh stuck on an island all alone with some center backs trying to dribble past people so here we are they on the attack again and abram let me down there they just tapped it to the guy knocks it in two nil so this is a terrible start for us can we overcome so watford on the attack again nice interception Welbeck grabs it, gets the through ball out to Lefevre. He's past everybody. Can he keep it up? He gets in the box. He shoots, and he scores for the first goal of his little very short career here at Aston Villa. Our youth, uh, youth prospect gets one in. So it's 2-1, 70 minutes in. Newhouse getting past everybody. Welbeck, another beautiful through ball to Lefevre. He gets in the box, gets it on the right foot, and bangs home his second goal of the match. Where is this guy coming from here? His first game he starts, he gets a brace. 
Now he gets it out to Brozovic, who shoots, and it's a great save. And then here we are, a few minutes left. Watford on the attack. You cannot catch this guy here. He gets in the box. Taps, tap, and cleverly taps it in to take the 3-2 lead with only a few seconds left. There's the final whistle. And disappointingly, we go down again. 3-2 to Watford at Vicarage Road. That was a heartbreaker. 6-7 on shots, 5-6 on target, and we take possession 52-48. Maximin Lefevre is your player of the match at a 9.1 rating with the two goals, but it wasn't enough. We go home with our heads held low and we get no points. Traore is happy to play. Look at our calendar in the next matches on a Thursday, the second leg of our Europa League round 16 match. We look to Switzerland for our next round of youth prospects. But so far we had Harris and we have maybe Lefevre as our second uh, great youth prospect to come up through the system. So how will you approach the upcoming match? Uh, no, nobody can ignore our performance lately. And I'm 100% sure our form will improve. And, all roads lead and here we are Olympia from Stadio Olimpico in Italy with Derek Gray and Lee Dixon. Here's their lineup again. With the 4-4-1-1. Cessignon, I wonder if that's Ryan Cessignon. Back there at right back. Uh, Quincy Proms uh, is pretty good. And that's the only ones I really know. So here's our lineup today. Harris, Rudy, Drake, Cardi, Loftus, Cheek. Uh, the 4-3-3 attacking, Loftus-Cheek is going to get the start, and then everybody else is our usual starters for this one. So, let's get this one kicked off, aggregate, nil-nil. So anything we can do here will be, uh, you know, any goals we can score, we need, we'll take. So early on, five minutes in, Roma on the attack, not a good sign this early. Quincy Proms passes it out. He shoots and he scores. And how in the world did that one just go away? How did he beat the keeper with that one? I'll never know. So here we are, 35 minutes in, still 1 0. Suso trying to make something happen here. Gets it into Harris in the box. Accordi goes around, gets it on the right foot, shoots and scores. And there's the equalizer, 36 minutes in. 1-1 one, one, Villa and Roma. Icardi will take us to the promised land. So here we are, Rudiger in the back. Another dangerous place I don't want to be. We lose the ball. 60 minutes in. Proms gets in the box. He shoots. He scores. And that's 2-1 Roma off of another terrible, terrible play from our center backs. So Icardi taps it in, cleared out. That was probably our last good chance we would get at equalizing this one. So we try to hurry and cross it in to make something happen. We lose possession. They grab it, and there's the final whistle as we go down 2-1 to Roma, and we are eliminated from the Europa League in the round of 16. Oh, the Villa season is not going how we wanted it to go so five to five on the shots three to four on target and 46 54 possession player of the match is patrick harris i'm not sure how being that we lost two to one and he only had an assist but if he plays he's man of the match it's like a an unwritten rule now i guess so a few matches rescheduled since now we're eliminated go back to playing worrying about Premier League and the FA Cup get some player training out of the way trying to bring uh, Traore up and Zelensky looks forward to being back in action and we 
have one player in our youth squad, and he's not too impressive at this point. Uh, we might be saying bye to him pretty soon. So we look at our 67 rating, because uh, we are not where we should be in the Premier League. We should be in the top four, and we are eighth right now. So our next match is in the FA Cup. Round of 16 against Wimbledon. This should be one we can cruise, cruise past these guys and into the next round. Maybe, you know, we're out of the Europa League, maybe we can win the FA Cup. That would at least be some hardware and something to be uh, excited about. So here's their lineup. And I have no idea who any of these guys are. Uh, maybe Wimbledon is your favorite team. If it is, comment below and let me know. And don't forget, guys, to smash that like button. Let's get this one to, like, 20 likes, 30 likes. That'd be awesome. As that's what uh, helps spread the channel the most. Uh, helps it to be seen is likes. So here we go. Six minutes in. Zelensky with the ball, gets it out to Traore. Nice pass to Alexander Arnold, gets it back to Traore. Can he make something happen? Pass comes in. Shot. And rebound and knocks it in. Newhouse gets the goal. 1 0, 9 minutes in. I believe the first attempt was Zelensky. So here we are, 21 minutes in. Get in the box. Harris with the ball, shoots. Blocked and they clear it out for the throw. Terrier gets it in to Emerson. Out to Newhouse. Oh my god. Zelensky just smashed one in from right outside the box. A one timer. And he gets a little fitness work in there. <laughs> Great goal from him. And there's the final whistle. We advance. Through the FA Cup next round, the 2 0 victory over Wimbledon. And there's Zelensky celebrating with his friends. Six shots to one, five to one on target in 49 51 possession. Newhouse with a 9.1 rating is your player of the match. Uh, he did have that nice goal early on. And let's see what uh, William Doolittle has to say about it. Uh, we control the game end to end. Uh, how much did Zelensky impact the game? And you were able to close it out before the second half. Yes, we were. So, Icardi is complaining because he didn't play one match in the FA Cup against Wimbledon that he uh, you know, wants to think about his future if he doesn't play more. A great FIFA glitch. So, the last match of this episode have us taking on Crystal Palace. So we're currently sitting 8th, Crystal Palace is 15th. We have 41 points, Manchester United have 62 in that last Champions League Welcome spot, to to Park, which uh, I don't believe it's going to be doable for us, barring um, maybe um, some massive injuries for Manchester United. So here's our 4-3-3 today. Our normal back four, Sanchez, Suso, and Loftus Cheek in the middle. Fontana, Icardi, and Traore up top. We'll give some youngsters some playing time. Uh, against Crystal Palace, one of the weaker teams in the region. So they go with the 4 5 1. Tom Davies, Jeffrey Schlupp. And Jordan A.U. up top is the lone striker. Zaha is on the bench today. I'm sure he'll come in at some point. Uh, if we take the lead. So here we go. So 84 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. It was uh, just a grind and a battle to get to this point. Newhouse gets it to Loftus Cheek, who kind of breaks away, gets in the box, shoots, and it's saved. I thought he had that one for sure. I thought that was guaranteed. Nice hit. Keeper was prepared and ready. Corner comes in from Digne. The header, Icardi gets it and heads it in. And 87 minutes in, we take the 1 0 lead off of the unorthodox header that uh, hardly ever goes in or happens. 
So last few minutes, Fontana kicks it out. And there's the final whistle. We take this one. 1-0 one to the Crystal Palace. So we grab three points and a clean sheet. It's nice to see after uh, basically these last few games have not been great. So 9-1 to one shots, 4-1 four to, four to one on target. Player of the match is Digne. Grabs his second player of the match. Uh, so he's been uh, in great form lately. And we go to William Doolittle. So it was a very tight match until the end. Uh, maybe we were a bit lucky. He only won by one goal. Uh, every match is difficult. And did Crystal Palace make it too easy? No, they didn't. It was 1-0 and we didn't score until you know, 85 minutes in. We knock out some player training. For Fever, Traore, and Harris. Kind of bumping those guys up. Look at our calendar. Sheffield Wednesday. And the FA Cup will be the first match of our next episode. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Crystal Palace, Chelsea. And then we're 8th. 44 points. To 65. Ugh. I don't know if that's going to be doable there. So, as always, please hit that subscribe button, that like button, and comment below. And until next episode, take care.